Mansuration. In this chapter, we will discuss mansuration. It deals with the measurement of lengths, areas, volumes, surface, etc. The knowledge of mansuration is very useful in our daily life. In case of plane figures, they are two-dimensional figures which can be drawn on a plane. They have length and breadth only. In lower classes, students have already studied about plane geometrical figures and their perimeters and areas. In this chapter, we shall discuss perimeters and areas of rectangle, square, quadrilaterals, circles, triangles, etc. Perimeter and area of a square and rectangles. For a rectangle of length L in breadth B, 1. Perimeter is equal to 2 into length plus breadth. 2. Area is equal to length into breadth is equal to L into B. 3. Is equal to under root length square plus breadth square is equal to L square plus B square. 4. Is under root. 4. Length of rectangle is equal to area upon breadth is equal to A upon B. 5. Breadth of rectangle is equal to area upon length is equal to A upon L. of triangle. First, if A, B, C are the sides of a triangle, then its perimeter is equal to A plus B plus C. Area is equal to under root S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C, where S is equal to A plus B plus C upon 2 or semi-perimeter. 2. If one side and the corresponding height of the triangle are known, area is equal to half into base into height. Perimeter and area of rectangles. Perimeter is equal to length of boundary is equal to 2L plus 2B is equal to twice of L plus B. Area is equal to length into breadth. Since D square is equal to L square plus B square, therefore, D is equal to under root L square plus B square. Perimeter and area of square. Perimeter of a square is equal to 4A is equal to 4 into side. Area is equal to A into A is equal to A square is equal to side square. Diagonal is equal to under root A square plus A square is equal to under root 2A square is equal to A under root 2 is equal to side under root 2. Area of the trapezium. A is equal to half of A plus B into H, where H is equal to distance between two parallel sides of the trapezium. A is equal to one parallel side, B is equal to another parallel side. Area of the parallelogram. A is equal to base into corresponding height. The diagonal bisects a parallelogram. Rhombus. It is a parallelogram whose all sides are equal. Perimeter P is equal to 4 into side. Area A is equal to base into height. Area is equal to half into D1 into D2, where D1 and D2 are diagonals of rhombus respectively. Circle. A circle is the surface area enclosed by a closed figure obtained on joining all the points that are at the same distance from a fixed point and lie in the same plane. The fixed point is called the center constant distance is called the radius. Circumference. The perimeter of the circle is called its circumference. Diameter. A straight line joining any two points on the circumference of the circle passing through the center is called diameter of the circle. Diameter is equal to 2 into radius or D is equal to 2 into R is equal to 2R. Formally. Area of the circle is equal to pi r square pi is equal to 22 upon 7, r is equal to radius of the circle. Circumference is equal to 2 pi r or circumference c is equal to pi d. Sector and sector area. Sector. The portion of a circle enclosed between two radii and an arc of a circle is known as the sector of the circle. The shaded region enclosed by the radii OA, OB and the arc AB is the sector of the circle. The measure of the arc AB or MAB is called the angle of the sector. Sector angle. The angle subtended by an arc of sector at the center is called the sector angle. Then, the shaded region OAB is a sector 
whose sector angle is angle AOB is equal to x degree. Area of a sector. Consider a circle of radius r centimeter whose circular region is a sector with sector angle 360 degree. Consider a sector angle x degree of a circle of radius r. Area of a sector is equal to sector angle upon 360 degree into area of the circle is equal to x degree upon 360 degree into pi r square. 